Hi folks, in this video we're going to be talking about how to play soft in relation to Schumann 3. So what are some things that are really important and essential to playing soft? Well, number one, we need to always be supportive. And I talk about this in, in terms of a supportive soft playing. Uh, not a soft that's so soft you can't hear it, but a soft that still has resonance and sound to it. We always want to be sure when we're playing anything, especially soft, that we are sitting on top of the pitch as if we're on a balance beam. Number two, like we're a leaky tire. It can be easy for our wind to become diffuse and lose momentum as we try to use less of it to play soft. However, it's important to remind yourself of a leaky tire here. If you think about a leaky tire, there is a very small hole in which a nail has hit that is letting go of air. Now this air is highly pressurized inside that tire and it's coming out of a very small space which has high pressure. This is the kind of wind we want to be using when we're playing soft so we stay supported. Number three, singing through each pitch until we are at the next pitch. Now this really pertains to Schumann 3, any legato you play, any Rochu, really anything else you play soft as well. But instead of focusing on every single note along the way and establishing that, we always want to be thinking ahead and thinking to the next note. That's why I always say sing through each pitch until we get to the next note. And number four, focus on the phrase and dissonances. Now this also goes with point three of singing through each pitch, but in the bigger picture. We need to be sure that when we're playing Schumann 3 that we really focus on the bigger phrase. Yes, we need to focus on each note connecting to one another, but we really want to be singing through the phrase and highlighting all the dissonances around more structural pitches. I hope these are some good tips that help you along your path with soft playing and Schumann 3. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for our channel. And if you have any further questions about this or anything else, please feel free to email me at ChristopherBassett106 at gmail.com. Thanks very much and see you in the next video.